At Farming Futures, we're often asked how dairy farmers can develop profitable and low-carbon businesses. So we ran an event to answer that very question. Over 60 farmers and representatives from the dairy industry attended the workshop in Somerset, where speakers from the NFU, Dairy Co and Arla Foods shared their insights into the importance of low-carbon farming. Consumer's key driver um, on purchase is still price, but the environment is creeping up the agenda. But the consumer feels happier buying a product knowing others in the supply chain have acted responsibly. The message seemed to be that farmers with an eye on profit should be keen to do something about carbon. We need to be proactive. If we don't, we will be told. But equally, it makes financial sense to the whole industry, the whole supply chain, to carbon footprint and reduce costs. Only a handful of farmers said they had measured the carbon footprint of their dairy farms, despite the multiple benefits that doing one could bring. When it comes to reducing emissions from dairy farming, the big hitters are an efficient and timely application of manures and nutrients, a healthy herd that's fed what it needs when it needs it, and generating renewable energy. One of the big points that came across really um, that there's a lot of conflicting advice out there and farmers are unsure of what is best practice because of course everything is so diverse and every farm is different and every year is different, every soil is different and crops are different. So farmers really are a little bit of unsure what they should be doing or what they should be doing at particular times and they, my, our feelings were we need clearer messages and good soil management. The group explored these issues in small yeah. workshops where they discussed and debated their ideas with peers and industry experts. Fortified by a hearty lunch, the group got the chance to have a closer look at the Montgomery Cheddar Farm to find out what the owners, Archie and James Montgomery, have learned from doing their own carbon footprint. So what did farmers take home from the day? That there is a shortage of hard knowledge that there are opportunities and that we have to keep our eyes open. Personally, I'm taking home that there is a lot of enthusiasm within the dairy industry to move forward with carbon footprinting. Um, and I think partly the other side of me takes home the fact that there seems to be less farmer involvement here today as I would have expected and perhaps liked. There's a lot of people who would wish to um, advise farmers, but not so much farmer participation and farmers, I think, need to be aware of the um, opportunities and they should be participating first hand. You know, it's quite interesting how wide and varied the um, possibilities are for reducing your, you know, carbon footprint, if you like, uh, so many different ways. And, you know, not only do a lot of these um, methods benefit, uh, benefit from a greenhouse gas point of view but it can also benefit you you know from a bottom line profitability you know whether it's saving energy uh, or alternative crops and uh, becoming more efficient you know it's um, it's a win-win situation uh, should we say. If you want to find out how you can reduce emissions from your dairy farm and get a copy of our free fact sheet visit farmingfutures.org.uk or call us on 0207 324 3671.